The statute of limitations for a libel action begins to run when the defamatory material is published. But what does publication mean for defamatory material contained in a book or other type of mass communication? Does each separate sale of the book constitute a new publication that restarts the clock on the statute of limitations? Fallout from an allegedly libelous book raises that question in Ogden versus Association of the United States Army. In November of 1955, the Association of the United States Army published a book called Combat Actions in Korea. The book criticized the handling of a platoon under Commander Lawrence Ogden during a military engagement in Korea. However, Ogden wasn't actually the commander of the platoon. In June of 1959, Ogden brought a libel action against the association in federal court in Washington, D.C., seeking recovery based on allegedly defamatory statements in the book. The association moved for summary judgment, asserting that Ogden's action, nearly four years after the book's original publication, was barred by Washington, D.C.'s one-year statute of limitations for libel actions. In response, Ogden argued that each individual sale or delivery of the book created a separate libel cause of action for statute of limitations purposes. Thus, in Ogden's view, as long as the book had been sold within the one-year period preceding his lawsuit, his action wasn't time-barred. The court analyzed these competing positions in deciding whether to grant the association's motion for summary judgment. 